solve one problem for a hollow sphere with unidirectional steady state conduction heat flow without internal heat generation we will read the given question for a thin spherical container inside radius 0.9 meter and outer radius 1.2 meter the temperature at the inside surface minus 183 degree celsius and outer surface 0 degree celsius the conductivity is 0.157 watt per meter kelvin at 0 degree celsius and it is 0.125 watt per meter kelvin at minus 183 degree celsius find out the rate of heat flow from inside surface toward the outer surface this is the case of hollow sphere and the heat flow is taking place in radial direction we will first draw the diagram as per given data so r1 is 0.9 meter so here is the inside surface radius r1 0.9 meter outside surface radius r2 is 1.2 meter temperature at the inside surface minus 180 degree celsius so here is t1 and temperature at the outside surface t2 is 0 degree celsius now for the hollow sphere heat flow is taking place along the radial direction and we will consider material is homogeneous and the steady state conduction process is taking place so this is the case of unidirectional steady state conduction and without any internal heat energy and that's why to calculate the heat flow we will apply fourier's equation so what is the fourier's equation so we know that q by a is equal to minus k dt by dr so this is the fourier's equation for hollow sphere now what about the conductivity k so here conductivity k is given 0.157 watt per meter kelvin at 0 degree celsius and k is equal to 0.125 watt per meter kelvin at minus 183 degree celsius that means k is the function of t because this conductivity k varies as per the temperature so how we will apply the relation in between this k and t so we will assume here is the linear relation in between k and t so we will take here k is equal to m t plus c that is k varies linearly with respect to t that is we will say k is proportional to t but what is the constant of proportion or what is that slope that is m and here is some constant that we have to add so we will take here because k exact k is not given it varies as per the temperature so we will assume there is linear relation in between k and t so k is equal to mt plus c that we have to take in the formula now what about area so here the heat flow is taking place along the radial direction so here the complete sphere is there so what is the area of sphere so area is equal to 4 pi r square that means area is the function of r now if we observe this fourier's equation there are two variables that is this temperature and radius so area is the function of r q is not the function of r so we have to take q outside of integration and t is also variable but k is the function of t so we have to take the integration for this k also now we will apply the boundary conditions because heat is flowing from this inner or inside surface towards the outside surface so here this thickness is important so along this thickness heat flow is taking place for the sphere so what is the boundary condition so when r is equal to r1 then t is equal to t1 and when r is equal to r2 then t is equal to t2 so we have to apply this boundary conditions and we will take the integration on both the sides so q we have to take outside integration of r1 to r2 then dr we will 
transfer to the left hand side because a is the function of r so dr divided by 4 pi r square which is equal to minus integration of t1 to t2 k dt why k because k is the function of t now instead of k we will put here mt plus c now 4 pi is also constant so we have to take outside the integration so here q by 4 pi integration of r1 to r2 dr by r square so what is this integration so 1 upon r square that is 1 upon x square integration of 1 upon x square is minus 1 by x so we have to write here minus 1 by r and outside the bracket we have to give limits r1 to r2 now we will move to the right hand side so here m t plus c dt so it is m m is constant so t dt so integration of t dt that is t square by 2 so we have to take m t square by 2 plus c so c dt that is ct ct and outside the bracket we will give so here we have to remove the minus sign so t1 to t2 we have to take as a t2 to t1 because we have to remove this minus sign now again we will simplify this so here how to solve this bracket so we know that upper limit minus lower limit so instead of r we will write minus 1 upon r2 minus again lower limit minus 1 upon r1 which is equal to now here also we have to take instead of t upper limit minus lower limit that is t1 square minus t2 square divided by 2 and m as it is plus c instead of t t1 minus t2 so now we have to find out the value of q so how to find out so we will transfer all the terms to the right hand side so 4 pi we will transfer and inside the bracket we will write this whole term that is m m by 2 in the bracket t1 square minus t2 square plus c t1 minus t2 divided by this term to the de denominator so here minus minus will become plus so here minus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r1 so we will write here plus 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 if we observe this equation then here m and c both the terms are unknown terms so how to find out this value of m and c so if we observe the relation for this in between this k and t so here k is given 0 0.157 so we have developed linear relationship in between k and t that is conductivity and temperature that is k is equal to mt plus c so for this k if i put 0 0.157 which is equal to mt so m is unknown term but this 0 0.157 is at 0 degree celsius so instead of t we will put 0 plus c so c is equal to 0 0.157 now there is another value is given for k k is 0 0.125 which is equal to mt so this m is unknown so i will write m multiplied by t so t is minus 183 plus c so plus 0 0.157 so here only m is unknown so we can calculate this and which is equal to 1.748 into 10 raised to minus 4 now if we observe this equation all the values are known that is t1 t2 is known so t1 is minus 183 t2 is 0 then r1 r2 is also known that is 0 0.9 and 1.2 so when we put all the values so here important point is that uh, after 4 5 here is the square bracket so we have to solve first this whole bracket and then we have to multiply with this 4 pi. so when we solve all this then we will get the answer q is equal to minus 1167.302 rat now why here minus sign is there now if we observe we have defined the heat flow is along the radial direction that is here is the inside radius r1 and outside radius r2 so we have considered heat flow along the radial direction from r1 to r2 that is we will say along this direction of x towards the right hand side direction but if we solve the uh, question as per this assumption that is uh, the heat flow is taking place from inside surface to the outside surface then the value of q is negative that means actual heat flow process is taking place from outside surface to the inside surface that is in this direction